I'm Dr. Ron Law, creator of Edamame at the Movies. We call it Edamovie. And joining us tonight is Justin Potasnik, our project manager, to help us with this instructional video. The first question you may have is why Edamame at the Movies? And the simple answer is what people choose to eat is rapidly changing. And Edamame is part of that trend. And as you know, theaters across the nation are reinventing themselves to bring more customers to concession counters. And we believe that Edamovie will bring more customers of all ages to concession counters. We're marketing Edamovie as a fun food, high in protein, gluten-free, and non-GMO. Our beans are also natural, high in fiber, minerals, and kosher. We have also teamed up with variety so that each bag sold will help a child in need. But before we start, let me thank you for your help because Edamame at the Movies cannot be successful without your support and help. So Justin, tell us about the Edamovie product. Yeah. So Edamovie consists of two SKUs. The first SKU is the Edamovie bag, which is eight ounces of lightly salted, ready to eat edamame. This bag is microwavable. The second skew is the edamame bucket. This bucket is for disposal of the pods. The bag and the bucket combined can be held by the customer in one hand. Edamame bags come in cases of 24 units. This small size allows for the most efficient use of freezer space. Edamame buckets come in cases of 600 units for maximum efficiency. And this also happens to be the most cost-effective way of shipping. Each case pack contains 24 units of frozen Edamuvi. When you receive Edamuvi, put them in the freezer immediately, not the refrigerator. Once in the freezer, Edamuvi has a shelf life of over one year. In other words, frozen Edamuvi should never have a shelf life problem. So Justin, tell us about Edamuvi bucket containers. These large cases can be stored anywhere at room temperature. Inside, there are sleeves of 50 buckets. You can put a stack of buckets near the sales counter for convenience. Now let me talk about thawing bags of Edamuvi. Practically speaking, you'll be thawing Edamuvi for the next day. It is also easier to estimate the number of units you need the next day than any number of days. So Justin, Tell us how long it takes to thaw Edamuvi. Edamuvi requires at least 18 hours to thaw, depending on the temperature of your refrigerator. The first decision you need to make is how many units of Edamuvi you need for the next day and put that many units inside your refrigerator on thawing trays. So let me emphasize what Justin just said. You'll decide how many units of Edamuvi you'll need at first, based on instinct, and later on from experience. The theater operator should determine how many bags you need for the next day, put that many bags on a thawing tray and into the refrigerator by about 9 p.m. so that by the next day at 3 p.m. you are assured 18 hours of thawing. So that by the time you sell the product the next day it is fully thawed. Now Justin's going to tell you about how we heat this product. First of all, the refrigerator should be close to the sales counter. Likewise, the buckets should also be close to the sales counter. When a customer buys Edamuvi, take one bag of Edamuvi and heat it in the microwave for 40 to 60 seconds. This warm Edamuvi bag should be placed into an Edamuvi bucket before handing to the customer. Dr. La will tell you how to determine the exact heating time. Frankly, this is the only tricky part. Justin mentioned heating Edamuvi for 40 to 60 seconds because the power of microwaves and temperatures of refrigerators cannot be standardized. To know the perfect duration of heating, take a bag of thawed at a movie, put it in the microwave at full power, and set the timer to one minute. At about 30 seconds, the bag will begin to inflate. If it is half inflated, that is the perfect time. If the bag begins to stretch, the product has become dangerously hot. Now let me add, we've designed at a movie specifically for thawing and heating at the point of sale. It is possible to thaw 
frozen at a movie by microwave, but the product is inferior and the temperature becomes dangerously hot. Justin, tell us about products not sold. Thawed at a movie has a three day shelf life. At a movie not sold can be sold for two more days. For this reason, some theaters will date the product at the time of thawing. As with all food handling, each theater must decide on the best procedures to ensure product safety and freshness. Also, be sure to remind the customer that the product is already lightly salted and that the bucket is for disposal of the pots. Now we're going to talk about the specially designed thawing tray. We developed the Edamovie thawing tray to thaw Edamovie in the most efficient way possible. If you bunch Edamovie together, it will not thaw. And if you didn't have a tray, there'll be lots of slipping and sliding. The Edamovie tray is developed to be low profile and stackable. And Justin's going to demonstrate to us how to fold the tray. Take a thawing tray and lay it wax side face up. Fold according to the instructions on the tray. Fold the tray along the dotted lines and in the order of the numbers. Each tray holds six bags and place it inside the refrigerator. If you need 12 bags, you can stack two trays like this and put them inside the refrigerator. If you need 18 bags, you can stack three trays and put them like this inside the refrigerator. I hope this instructional video has given you important insights to help you customize the handling of Edamovie in your theater. We have shown you the product. We have shown you how to receive the product and store it. We have shown you how to thaw the product and heat it at the point of sale. And finally, we have shown you how to assemble the thawing tray, which is so essential to be efficient in delivering this product. And once again, Justin and I appreciate your support for our product. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.